day. Hope everyone have an absolutely fantastic day. Ron Loaded here coming to you live from the treadmill. Hey, if you don't know me, take full responsibility. My name is Ryan Lodi, building a nine-figure insurance agency and helping everyday Americans create a multiple six-figure residual income within their first year here at LC Financial Group. We're hiring, we're growing, and we're expanding in all 50 states. So if you wanna learn more about what partnering with us your LC Financial Group would look like, DM me, comment below, shoot me an email at ryan at ryanlody.com, ryan at ryanlody.com, or send an email to careers, that's career with an S, at teamlcfg.com, teamlcfg.com. Hope everyone's doing well. Let's see if I can get this down here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey, I was just thinking about this as I'm taking a quick little jog here Friday evening, about 11 p.m., 11 p.m. East Coast Standard Time. I was just thinking about this as like, man, are we really on our side? Or are we playing against ourselves? Are we really on our side? or are we playing against ourselves? You know, there's been a lot of times in my life where I'm playing against myself. I'm getting caught up in my thoughts. I'm getting caught up in my head. I'm thinking negatively. My viewpoint and my outlook is very skewed. I'm creating obstacles and barriers and roadblocks and limitations and putting up blockages in my life. Whereas on the other side, vice versa, there's times in my life where, man, my attention is on the right things. I'm laser focused. I'm not putting up limitations in my life and I'm moving at full speed. I'm taking action immediately. I'm taking risk, I'm being dangerous, right? And I'm sure a lot of you guys watching this have experienced this in your life as well. Like sometimes you're laser focused. Sometimes you have your head in the right place. But then there's other times. There's other times when you're not as focused as you should be. There's other times when your head is up your rear end, right? <laughs> sometimes your head is up your rear end. Sometimes your head is in all these other places when it should be focused on moving forward. You know, the reason I wanna bring this to you guys is because, you know, we have to figure out how to continually keep ourselves laser focused. How to continually keep taking action immediately. How to continually keep taking risks, being dangerous, putting 100% commitment towards what we're doing, limiting and removing distractions and the noise, right? And ultimately, just staying all in in the game. This game of life, this game of creating financial freedom, this game of creating success. Like how do we maintain that solid structure and that foundation that will ultimately allow us to create the life that we want? That's what we should be focused on. We need to be focused on like, how do I stay laser focused? How do I keep my attention on the right things? How do I limit distractions? How do I remove distractions? How do I get rid of liabilities in my life and continually add the assets? You know, because we're either our our biggest supporter or our worst enemy. You know, as I was saying earlier, like there's been many times in my life where I've been my worst enemy. My tone level starts going down. I start to think negatively. 
I start to have a negative output, a negative viewpoint. I start to create all these roadblocks and these limitations. And I start to think about how hard life is, how hard it's gonna be to achieve my goals and targets. I start to start making excuses. I start to start making reasons and justifications as to why I'm not achieving what I want to achieve. I start to lower my action and lower my targets instead of increasing my actions and increasing my targets. I start to figure out reasons as to why it's not working. I start to find reasons as to why I shouldn't be doing what I'm doing. You know, I've been there before, as I'm sure a lot of you guys have been there before as well. And you gotta figure out how to snap yourself out of that. You gotta figure out how to get back on that, on that straight forward path that we all know we should be going in. You know when you are at your best and when you know when you are not at your best. So don't ever lower your standards of like, man, I need to be at my best at all times. Do not ever lower your standards. And you, you, you also gotta be aware and realize like, man, why am I not at my best? When there are times when you're not at your best, when there's times when you're not as focused as you could be, your attention isn't in the right place, you're not operating at that highest frequency, you gotta figure out like, why am I not doing what I should be doing and doing what I know I should be doing? Why am I not operating at the capabilities that I should be operating at? You know, it really all boils down to three things. Three simple things, people, places, or things. It's either a person in your life, a place in your life, or a thing in your life, like an action or activity that you're taking. And that's ultimately what is going to throw you off that forward direction that you should be moving towards. People, places, or things. People, places, or things. More than likely, a good majority of the time, it's gonna be a person. That number one, people, a person, who, who. It's always gonna be who, and it's always gonna be a person that is throwing you off. It could be a suppressive individual, it could be an antagonistic individual, it could be a person that, you know, makes excuses when you know deep down in yourself, like you, you have that, those personal beliefs and you have that, that personal values and integrity in yourself that you don't deal with excuse making, but you're hanging out with someone that's making excuses. And then next thing you know, you start making excuses as well. You could be hanging around with an individual that is not operating like their life depends on it. And you know, deep down inside that it is unethical to not operate like your life depends on it, right? But then you start to operate like these individuals and it, st it starts to eat away at your inner, your inner core and you start to, ultimately you start to get off path. So, you know, I just want to come at you guys really quick, taking a nice little run on the treadmill, walking right now at the moment at about 2.57 miles, 2.8, 27 minutes. Feeling great, hope everyone's doing great. I was just thinking about this like, are you really on your side or are you playing against yourself? We're our biggest enemy and we're our biggest supporter. So, gotta figure out like, hey, why am I not as focused as I should be? Why am I not as operating at the highest frequency as I should be? and you need to make those adjustments immediately. You need to make those adjustments immediately. You need to pivot. You need to add things. You need to remove things. And you know, something that's helped me a lot, something that's helped me a lot, and I know it's helped a lot of other highly successful individuals, is, hey, when you're achieving wins at a high level, when everything's operating very smoothly, when you're, when everything's ticking, your, your gears are running at a high frequency, you have to start to notice and become aware 
and have that high level of perception of like, what am I doing on a day-to-day -day basis? And not only that, but write down what you are doing on a day-to-day -day basis. So that when those times come, when you start going left, when you know you should be going forward, because they're bound to come, they're inevitable. They're inevitable. Even, it's for, even if it's for a day, two days, a week, a couple weeks, there's gonna be times when you go left, when you know you should be going straight. You can look back at your journal notes of like, this is what I do to keep myself laser focused and to keep my attention on the right place and continue to move forward. And this is what I was doing when I was operating at a high frequency and operating at my full potential and my full capabilities. And then you start to analytically view what you're not doing and what you should be doing instead of getting emotional with it, right? I'm listening to some GC right now, be obsessed or be average. One of my favorites, one of my favorites. In chapter five, Star of the Doubt, right? He talks about how doubt is the number one dream killer. Doubt is the most insidious, you know, terrorism on this planet to human beings, to spiritual beings, doubt. And it, it, it's ultimately what holds people back from creating the success they desire. It's because of doubt. And you need to starve that doubt. You need to get rid of the doubt. But nonetheless, are you on your side or are you not on your side? Are you supporting yourself or are you being an enemy to yourself? That's what you gotta really ask yourself. So I hope everyone's having an absolutely fantastic day. Let's continue to get after it. Who's got my money? Let's go. Talk to you guys soon. Oh, 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 oh,